these are the President's Cup. It is a competition between the University of British Columbia, Okanagan, and Thompson Rivers University in all CIS sports. Heading into the men's match here Thursday night at the Tournament Capital Centre, the Wolfpack men have already won the men's portion of this. The women's portion still up for grabs. First set, Pack leading 9-8 until Daniel Rood has trouble handling the hot shot, and that ties things up. Rude makes amends as he gets a set from Jacob Hamilton and TRU's down 15-14. These are two rebuilding squads. The attack error by UBCO cost them and were tied at 15. Tied at 20, back set by Hamilton for Anton Napolitano. Key block by Devin Cote and UBCO regains the lead. And that brings in Isaac Smith who wants to beat the school from his hometown. This play ends though when Daniel Rude gets the point and TRU is ahead 25-24. But, as has been the case all year for TRU, they can't close it out with authority. Napolitano swings it into the net. The Heat regain the lead as Lars Bordeman, the native of Victoria, sees open space and capitalizes. He has two kills in the first set. We're tied at 26. Josh Harvey drives it in front of the Wolfpack back row, and the Heat are up 27-26. The seesaw battle continues. Rude gets another point. He had five kills in that first set. The Heat had three set points in the first. Harvey delivers. The ball eventually goes to Napolitano, who puts it out, and UBC takes set 1, 29-27. Second set, the pack coming out strong. Big block by another Kelowna native, STP, Sam Taylor Parks. TRU out front early, 5-2. TRU moves up 6-2, thanks to this point, courtesy of veteran Randy Grundman. The Heat start to focus on Grundman. It is a triple block, but the Winnipeg native goes cross court, 7-4 the score. This is Josh Harvey, up and down. The Heat is down 8-7. Wolfpack stop the run thanks to this kill by Daniel eichmann Rude. Later, it's Doug Groendyke who has really improved with more playing time in recent weeks. The Pack get to 16 first, up by six. Picking it up with TRU leading 19-16. Rude, the ball goes to STP and his kill is good, three points for him. But Josh Harvey gets the ball in the middle and makes no mistake. Harvey with three kills in the second set, four on the game, and the heater down two, 2018. With the game tied at 22, Jacob Hamilton makes a dive for it. It is ruled the ball touched the ground before he got to it, point heat. And that draws the ire from TRU interim head coach Mike Hawkins. A key point because UBCO gets the next three and wins the second set 25-22. Third set, Wolfpack ahead 8-6. Feverish action here, a dig by Cole Ketty to Randy Grunman. He puts it down, his sixth point of the match. Then it's Doug Groendyke, his eighth point of the match, TRU up 10-8. Daniel Root did not want to lose his last home match. He powers it off the double block and TRU leads 12-9. Later, Grundman going cross-court for the point. TRU goes into the Tech timeout, leading 16-14. Harvey definitely the top player for UBCO in this match. Here is a service ace. It gives the Heat their first lead of the third set, 17-16. Later, Groendyke with the block. Yeah, he celebrates, and the Packer up 19-18. He does it with the block, and then the West Home BC native gets the kill. TRU holds a three-point advantage at 21-19. Take a gander at this. The ball goes way out of the court. Hamilton lifts it up for Tim Edge, who gets it over the net, but Alex Sawatsky hammers it down for the first of two straight for him. TRU leads 23-22. Then it's Harvey with the big block. Could this be it for the Heat as they're up 24-23? After TRU ties it, Grunman with the dirty little dish. The Packer up by 125-24. TRU, though, will take the third set as the ball stays in. 27-25, and they're down 2-1 in the match. Let's move to the fourth set. Heat up 5-2, but TRU gets the tight point here, courtesy of Grunman at the net. He has 11 scoring points at this point. Wolfpack, though, battling back. Rude gets it, and they're down 7-5. Heat, though, go up by two as Adam Kern gets the ball in the middle. They lead 8-6. It worked once, why not again? Kern with another kill, and UBCO leads 11-9. Just when the Heat want to get out on a bit of a run, they shoot themselves in the foot. Tim Edge sends the ball out of play, but it's a net violation. The result, Wolfpack point, game tied at 11. UBCO coming out of the Tech timeout with authority. It's Lars Bornman with the key kill to make it 18-13. Later, it's Rude who finds the open space, 19-16 the score. 
with UBC knocking at the door up 24-18. Tim Edge hammers it down and TRU is sticking around. You know, it's almost fitting that Harvey scores a final point down the middle as UBCO wins the fourth set 25-21 to take the match 3-1. The score is 29-27, 25-22, 25-27, 25-21. And like all the sets were really close. I think they got to 16 before us every set. So um, again, just two teams that really want to win and really want to compete. And like I said earlier, they clearly love each other and play real hard for each other. And it was a good game. I think just throughout the game, we just didn't execute our job or our jobs individually, collectively. At times there were spurts where we controlled the match because we were just doing what we were supposed to do. Um, defensively, offensively, uh, and then anytime that they put any pressure on us, I think we just got away from what made us successful. And to UBCO's credit, they kept doing what was making them successful. And I think, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a tough one to sit on for a couple of days before we head back there on Saturday.